okay yesterday we uh, you know we were just going through all the different type of implementation with you know connecting database like jdbc and you know jpa and spring data jpa so we covered all these things yesterday uh, with an example okay so you know and we see and we saw actually you know how how much code you know that is getting reduced while you know using spring data jpa okay and we also saw that like you know custom custom method implementations you know for uh, you know database related transaction sorry database related uh, you know operations uh, uh, we have seen that like you know it is we can implement our own custom methods okay so yeah okay that's so uh hope you know everybody has been you know um good with that okay so i'm just jumping out from here yep yeah, uh, one more thing hibernate versus jp actually you know uh so <clears throat> if you guys know about jpa and uh, you know if you if you wanted if you want to work anything on hibernate you know it's almost same because you know hibernate is one of the implementation of jpa okay so whatever the whatever the uh, you know suggestions or whatever the things that you see in uh, here right uh, once again let me just close this one i'll i'll show you one small example with the uh, hibernate and jpa Okay, yesterday we have uh, multiple uh, repositories uh, we have created with the JPA and right. So if you see here, sorry, wait one second. Where was that course? Okay, yeah, here yeah okay if you see here when you try to search uh where is this Yeah. So it seems something wrong. I'm not getting hibernate once. Once again. Okay. Yeah, if you see something here, right? You know, like whatever the column that we are trying to use it you know it is from jakarta persistence right so the same way you know uh, we do we should be having the same thing from hibernate as well okay so oajirat hibernate annotation okay so yeah something is wrong but yeah it should be there so it is always the same whatever the jpa that you learn actually you know it should be uh, you know it is the implementation hibernate is one of the implementation of jpa okay so yeah okay so hibernate is one of the popular implementation of jpa and using hibernate directly would result in a lock into hibernate okay so that's why what i've done actually instead of using hibernate i've just you know used jpa implementations okay so jpa itself so that you know if you wanted to shift something to a different uh, provider or you know different implementation okay you can still uh, utilize the same code and you can you know uh, implement them to top link or hibernate whatever it is okay so that's why i i just mentioned only jpa and also spring data jpa okay yeah uh, okay so today what i'm going to cover 
actually a uh, very good topic okay that is uh, yeah till now actually we were working on uh, you know developing some project and you know running it and all those things right so now uh, we'll talk about the deployments and you know uh, continuous integration and deployment okay so cicd but yeah uh, so this is our uh, our concept is docker so i'm gonna uh, cover uh, like you know how to uh, create or generate an image of your java project and uh, how you can deploy you know how you can create that image uh, from you know your eclipse itself or you know through maven i'm going to create an image of this project and once we create that image i'm going to run uh, that image in the container okay so and whatever the output that we are seeing uh, directly uh, from your workspace okay so the same output i think you know we need to see it from the container okay and later you know if time permit if time permits i'll try to explain how we can push this uh, you know uh, that uh, how we can push the same code or sorry the same image you know to uh, docker hub okay whether where do we where we have some repositories and all okay so <laughs> we will try to we'll try to push that as well okay let's see so how 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 does the you know the traditional deployment work you know most of the people are aware so deployment process describes in a documentation right you know so we need uh, certain elements like you know which are very important you know before you go for a deployment right so you go with operating system hardware okay whether it is linux windows yeah so any other okay so we have to install different softwares you know to uh, support our project like java python etc right okay node.js and you know set up application dependencies and then you know we'll install the application so this manual approach actually you know it will take a lot of time okay you know to to develop and you know to bring uh, all the application up and running you know uh, in the in the whole process okay okay so what docker provides why it is simplified okay so Docker provides very simplified uh, deploying process. Okay, so we don't require OS or you know we don't require programming language or hardware. You know doesn't matter. So what it does actually, developer will create an image file. Okay, and these image files. Okay, are used by operations team. Okay, to run on Docker. Okay using a very simple command okay and it will be available for everybody after that okay so what exactly they does right okay so docker image has everything you need you know to run your application okay so earlier in the in the traditional deployment okay so we used to deploy everything step by step right operating system and all right but uh, when the image is constructed actually it creates that kind of environment in the image itself okay so that these images can independently run on any of the containers okay good yeah so uh you can run them in the you know uh, containers okay so that's what we mentioned over here you can run a docker container in the same way everywhere local machine corporate data center or cloud so anywhere you can run that docker uh, container so that you know the pro uh, the whatever whatever the <coughs> application that you have run you know uh, created an image that will be available for everybody okay 
okay so these are the three things uh, like you know uh, why docker was popular okay so docker supports you know standardized application packaging okay when you know any language you take okay so it supports it supports the same packaging okay you know uh, for all the type of applications like you know if you whatever you built on java you built on J uh, python or you built on you know some of the ui technologies angular or react or javascript anything okay so it 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 build those and you know uh, it standardized that application packaging okay and and it supports <clears throat> anywhere you can run you know that's what i was saying in your local machine you can run this container you can uh, run that in the data center or cloud AWS Azure or GCP, you know, Google uh, Cloud. Okay, so and isolation, right? You know what containers have isolation from one another. <clears throat> so these containers are built, you know, uh, for you know for you know running those images, right? Okay, so and all these uh, containers are isolated, okay, because you know everything, whatever you are seeing in the run mode, right? So I'll 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 give you uh, like you know one small command, you know, in coming slides, okay? So uh, why we are saying you know it's an isolation, okay? Uh, you'll be able to easily understand that, okay? So it's a detached mode that we are going to run, okay? So that's why. Uh, we always say that containers, you know, uh, are have isolation, okay, from one another. Okay, so we have a uh, Docker terminology, you know, like, you know, first is Docker image. So here, this is the first step that we do uh, for everything. Uh, epic, a package, you know, representing specific version of your application or software, okay. So contains everything. Okay, your app needs like OS, software, code, dependencies, everything will be there in this image. Okay, so Docker registry. Okay, this is a place, you know, that we store all the Docker images. Okay, and uh, Docker Hub, you know, a registry to host Docker images. Okay, so Docker Hub is not with, not in your uh, local and, you know, it is, uh, you have to, uh, like you know you have to log into the docker hub okay then you will find you know all the public and you know private repositories okay so whatever the access that you have okay depending on that you find those uh, you know uh, repositories okay and uh, docker repositories like you know where the docker images for a specific app can store okay so you know we have to tag uh, tags are used to differentiate you know different images when you say tag the tag is like, you know, we will consider like latest or V1, V2, V3, something versions, okay? So, uh, we have to like, you know, segregate depending on the versions, okay? For Docker repository, when you push it to repository, okay? So, Docker container, I already told like, you know, it's a runtime instance of a Docker image, okay? So, where all the Docker images will run, okay, in container, okay? So, Docker file file with instructions to create a docker image okay so um, i'm not gonna cover doc for docker file because you know what i'm trying to do i'm just trying to create a project okay which can directly uh, create an image okay using the existing spring boot maven plugin okay so with this uh, you know i'm i'm gonna create that okay and later if time permits actually i'll just cover the docker file okay on high level so you know uh, you know without <coughs> yeah let's see an example okay how uh, this docker and everything gonna work okay so let me start Okay, so I have one project, okay, Docker demo. So, <coughs> yeah, instead of that, I'll, I'm gonna create a new one. 
Okay. One second. Start at string dot Ivo. Okay. Just creating a Maven project. One, two. First, Docker. Okay, chat. And I'm just adding Spring Web. Okay. That's all. I'll just click. Uh, yeah. And let me go here. Okay, let me extract it and then we'll start working on this. Okay, that's done. Let me minimize this. And let me go back to Eclipse. Okay, so now um, what I'm gonna do, I'm just going to import that project here, okay, as a Maven. System Maven projects and choose the same folder. Here you are. See, Docker demo. No. Yeah. Why this is showing? Talk it about you already have it, right? Yeah, okay, that's fine. Yeah, I just imported Docker first over here. Yeah, it will just take a while, you know, to just import that Maven projects and yeah, so it's done. Okay. So whatever, actually, I have only this one Docker first application. Okay, so I'm just going to create. Okay, there. Why I need to create? Okay, so I'll just copy this. New package. Chrome dot. Com dot Docker. Doc first. Dot. Doc first. Controllers. Okay. So I'm just creating a package. Okay. And uh, this package, I'm going to create oh okay i'm going to copy this okay directly mm. 
you get yeah so the will controller okay so what is this actually it doesn't have anything okay so i'm just going to you know yeah i'm just going to respond back with this okay and i don't have any path also okay i just you know local host with that port number actually i need to get this message on the browser okay so let's see whether you know we'll be able to create an image for this one and we can if we can deploy this one into uh, docker or not okay let's see it's a very simple application so you know let me uh, give you some you know commands that we are going to utilize or you know use it you know whenever we were working with the docker okay so how do you install this docker you know before going to the commands you know how do you install this docker right actually you know docker is very pretty simple uh, you know installation okay so go to uh, the docker hub okay so you will find uh, this uh, docker yeah okay yeah so if you see here you know it automatically identifies your uh, you know uh, your system and it will give you that uh, link download docker desktop okay if not actually you can just download it from apple whatever the linux or intel okay so you can download it uh, from there and uh, you can it's a it's a very easy uh, step of installation and there is one more way that you can also uh, download the docker using command line prompt actually okay so there is that so there are certain instructions okay you know to uh, download the docker Okay, I'll, I'll share it. Okay, uh, later. But yeah, so the, but there is there are uh, there is one um, you know kind of you know from the command prompt also you can install uh, Docker. Okay, uh, Docker Hub, Docker Desktop. Okay. Yeah, that should be fine. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now. I already installed this Docker, okay, in my uh, local, okay, so Docker desktop, okay. I'll show you whether, one second, I just started it. And if you see here, there is no Docker running in right now, okay, in my background. So, yeah, let it start now. Okay, before the Docker starts, so what we what we are going to do actually, we'll, we'll just check that whether this application is working properly when we go with the, you know direct run. Okay, run on server. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, not run server, right? Run as Java application. Okay, so no active profile set. Yeah, it started. Okay, so let me just open uh, the Google Chrome. So it started with 8080 report. Okay, so I'm just trying to hit local host. Localhost eight zero eight zero. That's it. Okay. If you see here, hello message, hello old Java one. Okay. So that means you know that application is working fine. Okay. Uh, so let me stop it here. Yeah. If you see, you know, uh, my Docker desktop has been started, and you see here uh, the engine is running. Okay. So let's start. You know. Uh, creating these images okay you know for this project okay and we'll just post that image here okay in the images you'll see that 
and once a image is has been created actually we'll try to uh, you know run that in the container and see whether you know we are able to uh, run this application or not okay yeah let me start that okay so how uh, we are going to create that image right okay so there is a specific uh, you know uh, you know if you if you if you see the bomb.xml uh, from our project actually we always get our spring boot maven plugin right so using spring boot maven plugin you know we usually uh, run the application we usually build the application and you know we clean and we you know we do a clean install and all those things actually you know uh, you know with maven is possible right and it helps us you know to uh, to you know to create a complete uh, package of you know your work and you know your project and everything so similarly actually maven is having one uh, one more extra command you know to uh, run and create you know image of your project okay so let me show you what what exactly it is okay okay so the command is one second let it load spring boot colon build hyphen image okay so this is what when we need to uh, run it so i'm gonna do that uh, docker fast and run as run configurations okay so in the docker first yeah so poker demo so i'm just creating a new one uh, docker first so that next time i can run it same okay base directory docker first and just check your gi workspace default jerry the source common okay yeah the other things i think you know we should be okay okay now what i'm gonna do i'm just clicking apply and okay here we go i'm running it okay now you see uh you know it is going to okay but you have to make sure that you know when you kick off this process actually docker should be running in your background that means you know docker status should be always running engine should be running state okay so now what it is doing actually when you uh, when you are uh, asking maven to build an image actually it is cleaning up your project and it is running everything the tests and whatever we required you know uh, to build the project okay it is doing all the steps first now it started you know uh, the docker uh, it, now it is going to start that docker image creation okay just a minute you'll see that yeah see building image docker.io in the library it is going to create a docker hyphen first with the snapshot yeah so to build this image actually it requires some uh, you know packages okay so those packages will be downloaded for first time and the first time actually uh, you know image building will take some time okay but uh, from the second uh, second deployment like you know if you are doing some changes and you know you wanted to deploy uh, the same image you know again you wanted to recreate the same image with the version 2 or version 3 something like that yeah that time actually it will be faster okay but for the first time uh, it it downloads all the you know um, kind of package you know uh, which can help you know to create the image so that will take some time okay let's wait uh, just for two minutes yeah so it 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 downloaded some packages okay you know for uh, building that image okay now it is starting okay
Yeah, it's still saving it. Okay, this won't take this much time for saving. One second. Empty Docker. Okay. Yeah, there is something wrong with Docker. Okay, just a minute. I'm gonna st stop the Docker. Just a second, okay. Yeah, I was going to stop this. Let me do a restart. Break this, okay. Oh, come on. Okay, so it just stopped and you know. Okay, so there is some issue. I don't know, one second. It's not starting. Let me forcefully start that. Okay. Yeah, let me retry. Okay, just a minute. Docker four point one thread. Oh, one second.
just give me two minutes okay i'm just going to uh, update it one more time yeah then we can work on it okay so it's just remote and <coughs> let me close all these things downloads okay install Yeah, there is a strict dependence actually when you uh, go with the docker okay so you have to use uh, like uh, you know eclipse you know the latest version whenever you are trying to run this commands but yeah generally it should work okay so just give a second okay so you know two minutes or three minutes i think you know uh, it just unpacks everything you know for docker and we'll start fresh Seems it has some stability issues in Windows 10. I don't know, might be. That could be the reason, you know. I never saw this kind of issue, like when <coughs> when we are creating an image, you know, from directly um, from Spring Boot Maven plugin, it was like very fast, okay. Let's see, one more time, okay, just, you know. Let it unpack. So meanwhile, if you guys have any questions, let me know. Okay, I'll try to answer. Come on, man. Okay, good, it's done. Okay, let me close it and just to erase once again. And I'll just open once again. Docker is not available, so yeah, I'm just here. Okay, except it's running. Okay, just started. Okay, starting now. Uh, Okay, it just started, okay? So I'm just keeping the tutorial, okay? You know, I'll just go directly with these images and whatever 
we are talking about okay just a minute okay let me try to rerun that docker first so it will start working creating those image okay just a minute and docker first the docker first and yeah run okay so i'm show you all something docker version oh sorry one second yeah so we were using this version now okay let's see now what uh, whether it is going to create that image or not for this time yeah It's done, right? Okay, so if you see here, so it just mentioned like, you know, it's saving and uh, it's saved with the image ID like this. And uh, this is our, you know, uh, the project name, okay, in the library, okay, for Docker. So let me show you, okay. So there are a lot of things that it has been prepared, like when it is packaging, okay. So it, 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 it took all the build configurations, like, you know, it is going to enable uh, the debug enabled okay this is remote debug enabling okay it's it is false but you know the debug port is 8000 so we can also set these things okay you know which are uh, which can help us you know to do uh, remote debugging and you know other other things okay because this is a very plain java project so yeah whatever the things that it has done actually it printed over here okay so when we have more things like you know uh, using a ui and all right so you'll see a lot of you know a uh, lot of output when you know from creator because you know uh, creator will help us you know to like uh, uh, show what are all the things this is available uh, and you know uh, you know to make it uh, this application work properly in a container so the creator will take care of all you know giving all those dependencies and you know it will create everything and then later actually it will uh, create you know it will pack it and you know uh, create create an image okay so somewhere somewhere here okay yeah so <coughs> see it downloaded all the dependencies okay spring framework related and you know everything it is going to download and you know it make it copy into the image once the image is ready it is going to save it to the docker okay okay so how you see those images right so there are two ways actually if you like gui uh, you can also go ahead and you know check in the docker desktop you will find that but uh, let me go with the commands okay so we have to like go with commands you know for for uh, at, at least you know uh, for some times until unless you understand those commands and all so i'm um, just clicking docker image ls list hmm. there's nothing there one second Docker dot Ivo, it just created Docker West, right? One second. Let me close this. Really? Docker FN images LS. 
range once again yeah if you see here it already created but i don't know like why it is not showing over there okay so or else you know i'm using a wrong command no Okay, that's fine. One second. Uh, Docker container. LS. Okay, nothing is running and nothing is showing. Okay, <laughs> yeah, this is strange. Okay, I'll I'll try to run this uh, Docker hyphen first, right? So talk uh, hyphen first i'm just going to copy this this command talk uh, hyphen first no. the latest yeah Oh, okay. Okay, so I, I don't know why it is not working uh, with the Docker image. So what I've done actually, you know, the project which I've already created yesterday and pushed that report to, uh, you know, uh, to the hub. So I just tried to, uh, you know, uh, download that image. Okay, so let's see now. Okay, whether the image is present or not. So it downloaded that. Yeah, this is strange. Okay. Docker image is not showing now, LS. Okay. Let me do one thing, one second. Uh, I'll just stop it here. Exit. Okay. May restart the Docker one more time. Restart. Yeah, there is some issue with Docker. I'm not sure like what is happening, but yeah, I'll I'll try to show you uh, how it works and all. Yeah, come on, come on. Okay, you see the images here, but not seeing in common prompt. Wow. Docker images. LS. Yeah, this is strange. Okay, so not sure why it is not showing in the command. Okay, that's fine. At least you know it is giving me those list now okay so okay so the one which have which, which we have created is docker first okay uh, if you uh, if you are able to see it here right docker first okay with a snapshot okay and the same way you know the repository is docker first and you know our tag is 0 0.01 snapshot okay and this is our image id so what i'm going to do now i'm just going to docker container run hyphen d hyphen p uh, 9090 colon 9090 and what was that uh, so go slash uh, Docker hyphen first with colon zero point zero point one hyphen snapshot. Okay, so what I'm doing right now, and I'm just trying to run the uh, the uh, you know the image file whatever we created in a container okay and if you see here this is a port number that i'm trying to assign it you know while it is running 
and if you see this hyphen d so what is this hyphen d is uh, which indicates a detached mode okay so that means you know the it is going to execute an asynchronous command you know to uh, run this application and you know uh, so your application will be running on a detached mode okay so that let me check okay uh, okay one second just a minute i think you know we don't require to add this yeah so it started so how you see that and you know just go simply type one more command docker containers okay docker container ls sorry i think you know that's the one right yeah docker container ls okay so you see uh, one is active and it started around 21 seconds ago okay and which is running on the port number 9090 and what is that it is docker hyphen first our project okay so hey just you know uh, five minutes okay so it will be done i'll show you uh, like uh, how it is running and all okay so what was the port number which we have added 9090 right so just change that to 9090 and it should work come on this is not okay just a second what i'll do i'll just you know kill this process docker container container stop d3 e yeah i just stopped that okay so let us confirm okay it's not there now and Okay, let me try to do the same thing again. Um, you know, Docker first snapshot, you know, we'll just create on some other different port number. 8090, something like that. Okay. Let me run it. Okay, so now it just ran. And let's see whether, you know, the container is started. Yeah, it started and 8090 okay this is not okay I'll, I'll show you something okay so i don't know why it is not pulling up that image but yeah just a second what i'm gonna do let me run one more container okay uh uh uh, uh. What was the image that we have? Okay. Oh, sorry, one second. Yeah, this is also not running. I think, you know, I'll try to get these things done one more time. I'll just, sorry. Okay, colon latest. And Eight zero eight zero, and eight zero eight zero. Okay, so I just started one more container. Okay, so there are two containers which are running right now. One is on eight zero eight zero, and one is on eight zero nine zero. Okay, so let's see. Eight zero nine zero is not working, but Let's see on eight zero eight zero. Yeah, it is working. Okay, so I, I think there is some issue with this one. Okay, 
let me do okay yeah once again let me do one small change okay let me stop these two things it won't take a couple of minutes okay so let me uh, stop these things okay and i'll show you one small um, update and then you know we can um, wind up this call okay just a minute so docker container c1d and 5482 okay i'm just stopping those things i'll, I'll explain all these commands okay uh, just a minute okay hello world controller so java let me just change it to and save okay run as run configurations both. yeah just a minute okay so let's see you know if it is fast right now and you know it is going to import that image properly uh, the second time actually it will be very fast okay so compared to the first one so i'm just rebuilding it Okay, come on. So there is some issue. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, so uh, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to repeat this, uh, uh, you know, the same thing uh, with the new project. And I'll try to reinstall the Docker again one more time in my local. Okay, so uh, I'll repeat all these commands. Okay, on in the next class first. And, you know, once we cover these commands, then, yeah, uh, we'll go for the next topic. Okay, yeah. So, uh, so, you know, if you guys have any questions, you know, let me know. Otherwise, you know, we can wind off today. Okay. Thanks all. Actually, you run docker dot first program only. Which one? Your uh, hello. The output. Yeah. No. Uh, whatever uh, the program which I have downloaded yesterday, which I have created last night. Okay. So I have stored that output, into the repository. The output was not. Uh, uh, how the we didn't understand the output. Which one? Which output you are saying? Like, yeah. you know, the, no, the no, browser no. one? This one? Uh, not this one. In the program. Two files you created. Programming. Okay, okay one second. Docker this, first, one? Uh, this, uh, this one. Docker first okay. uh, form.xml. Something here. Okay, so uh, if you like, I did not create this. Sorry, uh, the this code, one, code, right? The code was the code in the doctor first. Uh, this one, uh -huh, first application. Yeah, it is not having anything actually. This is the default class which we create uh, when we, uh, you know, it will come with uh, uh, when you create a project right from spring start spring. Okay, so from there, whenever you create something, spring initializer. Okay, so it will come with a default class uh, with the Spring Boot application. So I did not create anything in that. Okay, so it is just going to start the application. And, uh, 
you know what i've created i just created one controller class uh, with uh, you know mapping it as arrest controller and just you know adding a mapping method get mapping okay so this is our hello world you know when you hello call world, this won't display here in this build right? program yeah it displayed right like you know when you call this from local host uh, uh, colon with that port number actually the message should be written to the browser okay port, no so, port numbers may be different anything we can yeah. give anything we can give when we when we are starting from uh, docker okay so when you run that container actually you go, you are going to map that port number what yes. is port number Wait. sorry port number means like you know whenever uh, okay so there are uh, whenever you are connecting to a system okay or you know whenever you are connecting to a server okay so what from where your traffic has to go okay so there are few port numbers actually which are available you know for us okay so you have to define that port number so from this port number only my traffic will you know this application traffic will go okay uh, like you know whatever the request comes actually you know it is going to come with that uh, port number and you know uh, the travel uh, like you know whenever we uh, give back the response actually that time also it goes with that port number itself so we call it as like you know 8080 is our port number oh. and this uh, um, hello world java 54 it's displayed in uh, which browser this one browser or? this google chrome only no. Google Chrome, but you know, I'll tell you how it displayed. Okay, so uh, this is our one more project which I have created. Okay, Docker demo. So it is very simple, uh, the same project actually. So uh, this one I already deployed into Docker. So there is some issue with Docker today. Okay, I don't know whether it is having it is very slow. Uh, it was not like that yesterday. Okay, so uh, so when I created this Hello World, okay, sorry, this Docker demo, and I was able to deploy this into uh, Docker, uh, and you know, um, once it is deployed into the Docker, you know, it will create an image, right? So that image also I was able to push it to the Docker Hub. Okay, so if you see here the images, and in the Hub, I already have this uh, the second one, Docker demo. So yesterday only I pushed it five hours ago. Okay, so 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 what I've done uh, instead of uh, instead of you know depending on the one which I have created today, so I I created like you know I tried to pull that Docker image whatever we have it in the Docker Hub. Okay, so I'll show you where exactly it is. image means what it contains yeah it contains everything okay so let's say you know uh, uh, in the in the program right uh, sorry in in the like legacy like we you know nowadays actually we were using dockers but earlier when we used to deploy uh, these applications okay uh, to a server or you know to some system right so what that system will have it will have operating system and it will have all the dependencies of your project, like, you know, Java runtime environment or, you know, some other Oracle related component. Okay. Um, so everything, it should be there, uh, you know, as a server or, you know, as a system for you, right? So all those things, all those things combinedly, you know, uh, Docker is going to create an image with every, Sorry. with every software okay so whenever a request comes right it it will not go away from that container okay so that image itself okay image will have everything whatever you it requires for your project so when i say image okay if you see here <coughs> okay I, I would have captured the previous log <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, I would have captured that previous log, but I'll I'll show you. You know, in the Monday uh, when we are trying to deploy it newly. Okay, so I'll show that. You know how the image is having all the 
other things okay there is a command like sobm something like that one second i'll just check that docker sobm spom Yeah, I'll, I'll check that command. Actually, you know what uh, the command shows, right? So let's say if you built an image today uh, for one of the Java application. So what that image contains, right? Like, you know, internally, uh, what are all the uh, dependencies it pulled and, you know, how, it, how the image has been created. Those things will be displayed with that command. Okay, so I'll give that command. Okay, just a minute. SBOM or something else, one second, but yeah. Yeah, but it is useless. I can I cannot show you right now because Docker is not at all responding, okay. Yeah, it's not responding. Okay, let me try to close this one. Okay, so for now, what you can, uh, you know, take away, right? Like, you know, uh, the image, whatever we are talking about right now. So it is kind of a wrapper, you know, for all the project related dependencies, like, you know, uh, if you see here, uh, Okay, so if you see this one, like, you know, you uh, for your project, actually you require some operating system like Windows or Linux, something like that. And, you know, the runtime, okay. Uh, runtime should be some JDK or Python or Node.js and uh, application code dependencies. Like, you know, if you are using some logging, so you need some logger files, uh, logger libraries. And if you are using something uh, related to connecting some database, you need some dependencies with the SQL drivers and all, right? So all those things combinedly you know uh, with your application it will make it as an image okay so when you give this image to somebody else okay uh, who are uh, running uh, you know who are with the, like you develop this application on windows and if you give this image uh, operating to, system is uh, any operating system it will anything yes if suppose if anyone doesn't install the operating system if you if yeah, you if have they have Docker, Docker image, it will run the program. Exactly, that's true. So, it, like you know, uh, I'm not saying like you know without operating system you cannot run it, but you know you uh, that system should have some operating system, okay? But in their local, like you know, in the in that in that particular system, if we have Docker, you can run <coughs> independently whatever the operating system it is, okay? So you you might got that, what I'm trying to say. So let's say, you know, I, I, I created this Docker image, okay, right now, and it is already available, okay, in the public repository. And you are running, you know, you, <coughs> you have a Docker, okay, in your Mac, okay. So you can just run a command, uh, open that uh, command from turn, you know, you can just run it. Uh, one command like you know saying that docker container uh, run some image name give that image name and it will download okay so directly that image will be like... yes yeah. okay so something like this okay so if you have a docker in your local okay just try to run this one mm, where is this Yeah, just try to run this command. A anyone, okay? Uh, so what it does, right? The image actually you don't have it in your local, okay? But it is there in the repository uh, where I already pushed it, okay? So what it is going to check, it is going to check, you know, with your local repository. And if the image is not present, it is going to download that repository, you know, uh, that image, okay, directly uh, to your local. And then uh, you'll be able to run those uh, image, okay, 
you know when you hit that uh, <coughs> when you hit that local host 5000 okay so that output you will be able to see it hmm. simple right like you know uh, we don't require to share uh, uh, like you know what what do we say you don't require to share all those files and all okay so you can just give this command that's it you know whether they oh, have the, the project the, that's one that is the command yeah this uh, yeah the all yes the command so later you you just hit this uh this one http http local host 5000 that's it so you'll be able to see that output and you did not install anything java you did not install anything related to spring frameworks dependencies you don't have anything just you know uh, hitting this command you got that image with all the dependencies and you know with all the runtime environment whatever it requires to run that project and you just hit that localhost 5000 you'll see the output so that is how like you know the image is going to wrap up everything and you know it's a Q, it, it is going to give you one single uh, file uh, which can run in any environment <clears throat> okay. okay yeah and yeah so uh, i wanted to explain so many things today but i don't know like the docker is not uh, responding properly so uh, there are <clears throat> there are few things that we can go through okay so in the dockers actually we have uh, there are a lot of products okay uh, like in the docker hub uh, let me show you something one second Docker extensions. There are a lot of images that are available. Okay, so you can run, uh, you can pull them uh, from the Docker Hub, and you can utilize them. Okay, I, I'm, I'm, I'll give that. Okay, in the PPT, uh, how to pull and all. Okay, uh, where is that? One second. <coughs> okay, I think you know I need to go to the docs, might be. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so I think here only. Yeah, if you see here, there are a lot of frameworks which are already available through an image. Okay, so uh, like you know, if you consider MongoDB and you know you can also get this docker in your dev environment and you can use it okay uh, it will give you an image okay and uh, it will that image will work as same as you know uh, the server uh, mongodb database server and you know you can utilize it uh, you know connecting to that database and whenever you deploy it to you know uh, to some whenever you create an image right so this will also include it in that image and you know we don't require to uh, run those uh, you know uh, we don't require to create other extra server for mongodb or any other servers okay so the image will contain the database as well okay and you know your project will run as you know uh, as similar as like you know whatever you are running in your local so yeah there are a lot of things that we can explore uh, from you know uh, docker this is a very big topic but you know it cannot be covered in uh, like you know two days one or one day you know whatever we have it okay so i was just giving some introduction okay so if you start exploring these things i think you know it is like very huge topic okay so yeah for me actually you know it is like one day topic for me okay to uh, give you uh, guys like you know to understand what exactly the docker can do and how we deploy these things okay uh, to docker using docker okay and how we create those images and how these images can be run so that is where you know my topic is okay so 
I was just creating those images and um, showing that, you know, how to run them and how to, you know, post them into the repository so that, you know, everybody can run those images, you know, from anywhere in the world. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, if you have any other questions, let me know. Uh, you know, I'll just repeat the same topic on Monday. Okay. For Docker with all these commands. Thank you. Sure. Thank you. Hey, uh, Gautami, right? Hello. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, Gautami. So you, yeah. Do you have like you know uh, any prior experience on Java? Uh, no, I didn't have. I just okay. actually, I joined in the middle of the sessions. I'm not understanding. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah. Uh, that's why you now uh, I I don't see the people who join. Uh, you know, uh, from the first class. Actually, you know, the people are like jumping around. Okay. From first so, class onward, you are explaining the project. <clears throat> project what you what we real time projects yeah uh, i started with very basic concepts okay uh, like you know from java <clears throat> inheritance concepts oops and everything and uh, from there actually i i gone through uh, like git repo how to you how you create a repositories and you know how we commit and all those things and from there i just jumped into spring and i started with spring project one spring project with that explaining all the spring related concepts the dependency injection and you know auto wiring and all those things and then i jumped into spring boot okay so uh, you know creating one service and you know i was explaining what uh, spring boot can do for us yeah. and then i came to uh, the jpa uh, and uh, you know spring data jpa and <clears throat> the jdbc concepts yes from there, I just came to the Docker and I was saying that, okay, whatever you built an application using Spring Boot, you can just create an image and that image can be useful by any other people. So uh, the next topic actually I'm gonna cover, you know, with uh, uh, the UI part, like I'm gonna just give more, up, you know, uh, very basic concepts about React.js and how you can build a React sample React.js and how you can communicate with the service. Okay, so one sample project, and I think that's all, you know, for uh, this week uh, session, like, you know, for this uh, month session. Later, I'm going to start from, uh, like, you know, uh, from the next month, I think I, again, I'm going to start with the same topics, uh, like, you know, from day one. Do <coughs> you have any, uh, like, uh, we can read all these concepts, any? Yeah, I, I'm going to share that, okay? So, uh, you know, I have prepared already uh, a PPT. One second. Okay, so these are the topics which I have covered. Okay, so the first one and, you know, the last week, I think, you know, I'm going to cover the same, uh, the cloud related concepts. Okay, uh, I don't think so. It will take some time because I already covering this Docker and, you know, for the last week, but <clears throat> yeah, I'm pending with these things. Okay, HTML and jQuery and all, but yeah, so it won't take much time, you know, because these are all very, uh, it doesn't have any, uh, like, you know, it, it doesn't require any prior experience. So I'm just going to cover very basic topics over here. And then I'll just jump into only this one. Okay. Either Angular or React, you know, any one of the framework, I'll just uh, pick up one project and I'll explain how we are communicating with the Spring Boot and all. Okay. But yeah, to answer your question, yes, you know, this is, you know, the first topic actually where I started. So it, it contains all the PPT. <clears throat> about java and i have uh, given some examples you with, this uh, one? no i did not i think i i, I shared with only the recordings we, you know uh, recordings were there i think you know uh, uh, you can uh, you can access those recordings it's already there but if you want the ppt i think you know you just need to wait one more you know a couple of days okay so okay. Uh, once this uh, entire session is done okay. i'm going to share this ppt you know uh, with everybody okay. 
Yeah, this is very basic concepts I started with, but you know, I took some time over there, you know, to make sure everybody understand. And then, uh, then I started, you know, uh, with uh, uh, more uh, spring related topics and, you know, more other topics related. Yeah. Yeah, I, in in me in between, actually, I covered this agile also, uh, and you know uh, how you know you maintain the Git source. <clears throat> so all these things are also done. Okay. GitLab and uh, GitHub. Okay, so okay, yeah, I, I'm, I'll share it. Okay, uh, I think you know if you want to. Uh, if you want to listen all these classes, I think you know you can join from the next session. Uh, like yeah, next, uh, yeah, yeah, next, next month. Start, okay. Yeah. Next month, actually, I'm gonna start from day one. Okay, so that PPT will start from day one. Yeah. At uh, which I mean on March or February only next session will be. March only. I think you know March. I'll I'll confirm that. Okay. So most probably, this session will end on twenty uh, second. Okay. okay, and uh, from twenty third to you know to twenty sixth, actually I have something, so I I won't be able to take any sessions after that. You know, I think you know I'll start from twenty eight, or you know twenty seven. Yeah, from Monday. <clears throat> yep. So, uh, do you have any other experience like not only Java? So, any any other industry experience? No, no, actually, I don't yes, have sir. just okay. uh, one year. I uh, <clears throat> did dot net like that. That's it. It's a okay. long back. Sure, that's not a problem. I think you know we can. Yeah, the the concepts whatever we covered, I think you know at least you know it will give you uh, a basic idea how now <clears throat> now the projects are building, and then you know, I think you can start exploring them. Okay, thanks, Gautami. Thank yeah. you. Thank you. Yeah, bye.